I want y'all praise y'all by Shemesh, y'all by Shemesh, Kakadash, the honors, elders, men, true, falling down, like minded ones. Teach us true for now, so we know it's true for now. So, the Wadi Allah Shemesh, I'm putting the spirit, men, and true, falling down, like minded ones. We true for now, so we know it is true for now. And call y'all by Shemesh, y'all by Shemesh, Kakadash. All praise y'all by Shemesh, y'all by Shemesh, Kakadash. This relates to CBN um, News, Christian News. Um, Benjamin Netanyahu, Prime Minister of Israel, warns terrible consequences if U.S. world, if the U.S. world relating to these campuses can't quell down relating to anti-relating Semitism. You know, pretty much anti-Israel on protests. You know, such as various campuses, um, uh, you know, University of Southern California, Yale, Harvard. You had Emory, you had Columbia, you have various others across the country. Read it. Um, pro Hamas demonstrators that began at Columbia. The university has spread it to a number of the colleges, campuses across and throughout the U.S. In Israel, the protests are reminiscent of the darker times for the Ish people, the Jewish people. The people arrested nearly 30 demonstrators demonstrators Wednesday at University of Texas, UT and estimated nearly 200 campuses have some forms of anti Israel protest man. so he's warning about these Benjamin Netanyahu is warning, warning about these anti um, Israel protests you know what I mean, the pro, pro Palestinian you know what I mean and um, he's warning about relating to uh, the continuation of that is going to be, you know, if they can't quell it, it's going to be problem. It's going to be problematic across these campuses, respectfully across the country, man. Um, so that was uh, April 25th, a few days ago, about four days ago. Report. I'll play a little bit of it. First, we go to Israel, where the message is: stay strong, survive. That's the message the parents of an American hostage, a hostage, are sending their son. After Hamas released a video showing him alive. As his parents plead for the release of all the hostages held by Hamas, anti Israel protests continue to spread on U.S. college campuses. CBN's Chris Mitchell reports. Protesters clashing with police at the University of Texas as officers move in, arresting dozens. At USC, nearly 100 demonstrators were taken into custody as the protests spread to more college campuses. Wiped out by Nazis. We know what Nazis. 
hostages. Wednesday, Hamas released a propaganda video showing one of those still in captivity, American Hirsch Goldberg, Poland. In a video, his parents expressing relief to see their son alive and encouraging him to endure. Hirsch, if you can hear this, we heard your voice today for the first time in 201 days. And if you can hear us, I am telling you, we are telling you, we love you, stay strong, survive. Meanwhile, the UN is calling for an investigation into accusations of mass graves around Gaza hospitals that saw intense fighting recently. Israel released a statement that the claims are baseless. Hamas has also proposed a five-year ceasefire if a two-state solution is implemented. But Israel steadfastly rejects the idea of a Palestinian state. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem. Well, I've said it before, and I, I just think I need to say it again. When, when you accuse Israel of being an apartheid state, of trying to commit genocide in Gaza, you've turned the truth onto its head. The only country in the Middle East where Christians are growing is Israel. The population of Christians in Israel is growing. The only place where it's safe to be Druze. Uh, you can be Muslim and walk the streets of Tel Aviv in perfect safety. Now, contrast that with Gaza before October 7. If you were Jewish, you would be killed. If you're a Jewish and you go to Ramallah, there's signs right outside the city that the IDF says, don't go here because we can't guarantee your safety. Go back to 1948 when Israel declared its independence. Suddenly it became illegal to be Jewish and be in the Middle East. In Iraq, it was a capital crime to be Jewish. If you were discovered, you would be hung. What kind of apartheid state is that? You're not even allowed to exist. Now, the genocide? The genocide is solely on the part of the Palestinians. When you hear the slogan, from the river to the sea, what that means is Israel needs to be wiped off the map and every Jew killed. That's genocide. What is happening in, in Gaza today is entirely because of Hamas. They attacked Israel. Israel is defending itself. If you care for the citizens of Gaza, if you care for the innocent children there, you, the, the entire pressure should be put on Hamas. Will you release all the hostages? Will you unconditionally surrender and lay down your arms? Will, will, you, uh, will you allow peace to govern Gaza instead of this radical Muslim ideology that calls for the extermination of Jews? That's the reality, that's the truth, and that's what should be protested. And here in America, have we forgotten there are American hostages in these tunnels. Let us please bring our people home. Everything should be dedicated to that. Instead, we have the UN launching useless investigations accusing Israel of war crimes. Well, where's the investigation of Hamas? Where's the investigation of UNRWA, the UN relief agency that has been funding uh, instruction in terrorism? Uh, had terrorists on their payroll, Where, where's that investigation? Where's the investigation of our own State Department that was reinstated funding for UNRWA? Do we not understand that that funding went into rockets and went into weapons so that Hamas could attack Israel? Let's put the truth back in place and, and stop this nonsense because it is absolute nonsense. Well, later in the show, we're going to be speaking to a survivor of the October 7th attack. You'll have eyewitness testimony of what happened on that day. When America's... All right, that was a C CBN video report talking about relating to these college campuses, such as including Yale, U USC, University of Southern California, Harvard, Columbia, Emory, and different other colleges across the country. Uh... Second, um, Ezra 15.
Allah's for the world and for who and those who live in it. Well, it was pretty much a warning for those who dwell in. A uh, woe to a warning, uh, a woe to those who uh, dwell dwell in the world and the inhabitants therein. Uh, for the sword in in misery shall draw near, and nation shall rise up and fight against nation. With the sword in their hands, guns, nation against nation, weapons, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. You know, I mean, go to Matthew 24. Rumors of war, hearing of war, hearing of wars and rumors of war. See, ye be not troubled yet, marvel not, just be not dismayed, marvel not. For the end is not yet by and by. For nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, there shall be pestilence and earthquakes in different places, various places, for in the times of sorrows. Um, so you're seeing the um, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Uh, for there shall be unrest, ghost disturbances, commotions, civil unrest, civil upheaval, disturbances, uh, insurrections, violent uprisings. For there shall be unrest among the people, growing strong against one another. So it, that goes to the people, Egyptian versus the Egyptian. Go to uh, Isaiah 19 and 19. Go to Second Ezra is relating to. Uh, um, city versus city, people versus people, even realm versus realm. I'll get it. That goes to kingdom versus kingdom, man. Um, 16, read it again. For there shall be unrest among people, growing strong against one another. For they, they shall, in their might, have no respect for the kings or the chief of their leaders. So they're going to take the course of the hour, the course of the power, in their hands... And not regard the kings and princes, man. So they're not going to be respect their person relating to the ones in the position of authority, man. Um, that's the main one, number 16. I'll read the rest. For a person will desire to go into a city, should not be able to. The scripture talks about 620, second address, 616, um, what's that? 16 and 27, I believe. They shall, uh, relating to here, but they will not, uh, and communicate, they will not be able to, though, paraphrasing. So, they're going to, they're going to hear, but they they want to hear and, and communicate, but they will not. Let's see if I can get it, Lord willing. For a person will desire to go into a city and should not be able to, that's martial law. And because of their pride, the city shall be in confusion. For many great miseries shall happen in the latter times, and the people that dwell there Dwell, dwell therein because they walk greatly in pride. Second Ezra 8 and 50. Uh, let me see. And because of the pride, their city shall be in confusion. State of confusion. Go to uh, Isaiah 24 10 through 12. Man. Confusion and uh, and ruin. Man. A little well, I get that one too. So I'm just paraphrasing it. So uh, relate to the state and condition of that city. Man. Um, because of the pride, of the cities shall be in confusion. That confusion goes to chaos, uh, disorder, disarray. You know, um, um, the houses shall be destroyed. Houses shall be destroyed, or the public, private entities will be destroyed. Home invasion, siege, occupying, um, and people shall be afraid. Related to the state of condition, because of the state of condition, and people shall and people shall have no pity upon their neighbors for their neighbors. But shall make an assault upon their houses, so they're gonna they're gonna invade. That goes to that goes to home invasion, and siege, occupy, and relating to uh, victual supplies, relating to uh, because of uh, for great tribulation, as Scripture says. Man. For people shall have no pity upon their neighbors, not just their neighbors, strangers, even their own family, man. But shall make an assault upon their houses. With the sword, using the sword, man. Aggressively using the sword to get what they want, man. Um, and plunder their goods, which are victual supplies, because of hunger for bread, because there's a famine, because supplies are going to be scarce. Um, scripture talk about, uh, what's that scripture? Um, the uns um, the sown places shall be unsown, and the, and the storehouses shall be found empty. Second Ezra 6 and 22. 
uh, because of hunger for bread and because of great tribulation, because of the things that's going to be going on in that time, man. You've seen precursors of protests. This is not normal. It's been protests for a while, man. Various countries, respectfully, all over the world over social, economical, financial, political issues, social issues, financial issues. You know? Um, so, people have been protesting over various things, religious issues, um, and various other respected issues, man. Um... Get um let's say second address thirteen. Thirty-one. They shall plan to make war against one another. A plan goes to devise, man. You know what I mean? Uh, they shall plan to make war against against one city, city against city, place against place, people against people. And kingdom against kingdom. And that goes to realm against realm. And that's what you're seeing. City, place, people, kingdom, rulership, realm, person, place, and things, man, are being used relating to, you know, to stir up. Uh, scripture talks about think not that I come to send peace on earth, but rather division. So that part of that vision is being set forth, man. The disturbances, insurrection, violent uprising violent uprisings, upheaval of the places, of the people, man, so that the people are being stirred up, man. The Egyptian versus the Egyptian, Isaiah 19 and 2, man. Isaiah 19 and 2. I will stir up the Egyptian against the Egyptian. That goes to the division, man, the variance. You know, upon a spirit that's going to be put upon the people, man. A brother will fight against brother, neighbor against neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. Kingdom. That goes with 2nd Ezra 13, 31, Isaiah 19, too, man. So that's what you're seeing, man. A spirit is being stirred up upon these people. And they're relating to their conduct and behavior. Or, you know, they're explaining it through that, man. Um, let me see. Go to, uh, what was the other one? Isaiah 24. Isaiah 24 NIV. Twenty four and ten. The ruined cities is lie desolate. And that ruined city right to that city of confusion, Babel, man. You know what I mean? It's in confusion, it's in it's in chaos, it's in disarray, you know what I mean? Because of their state of condition, man. Um I'll re read it ten. The ruined city lies desolate. The entrance to every house is barred. The gates the city, the entrance. And the streets that cry for wine, all joy is turned to gloom. That mirth is taken, man. All joyful sounds are banished from the earth, man. Remember, the part of that is the, um, uh, the mirth being taken, man. You know, mirth is being taken away, so the city is in ruin, man. And the city is left in ruins, and this gate, this gate is battered to pieces, man. So that really is the state and condition, man. The mirth is taken, all joy is taken. You know what I mean? The Lord is sending the spirit of division. Think now I come to send peace, but rather division. 
that they now come to send peace or herb or rather division. They now come to send peace with a sword. I come I come um, not to send um scripture talks about um relating to um the earth part of me get it, me get it. Luke um Talks about um, set the earth on fire with already be kindled. Let's go to um, NIV. Forty-nine. Have I come to bring fire on earth, and how I wish it were already kindled? So the fire is being brought on. We get uh, actual physical fire. This is goes to it's not peace on earth. You know, scripture talks about uh Ecclesiastes three talking about uh a time for peace, a time for war uh a time for love, a time of hate, a time for uh a time for war, a time for peace, man. Paraphrasing, you know what I mean? So it's a time of war, man. It's a certain time for certain things happening, man. Scripture says um uh, uh Every, uh, everything relating to under the heavens uh, I'll get it I'll get it but on uh, 1249 talks about I have come to bring fire on earth and I and how I wish it already kindled what I have baptism to undergo and what constraint I am under until it is completed man do you think I came to bring peace on earth no I tell you but division so the Lord is sending the spirit a certain on earth man He's not sending on peace, man, because it's not that time for peace, man. It's time for war. He class these, um, and this is time for things to be uh, fulfilled according to prophecy, man. So the Lord is not sending a kumbaya, a kumbaya type uh, vibration on earth, man. There is a time for everything and a season for every for every activity under the heavens, man time to born, a time to die, a time to plan, a time to uproot, a time to K-I-L kill, and a time to heal, a time to tear down, a time to build up, a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance. You're seeing a lot of K-I-L, you're seeing a lot of mourning, and you're seeing a lot of people dying, man. Um... A time to mourn, a time to dance, a time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain, hold back from embracing. So that goes to, you know, uh, iniquity shall bound, love of many shall wax cold, man. So you, you see in the lack. Scripture talks about 2 Timothy 3, 1 on down, relating to characteristic in people. You know what I mean? Unthankful, unholy, ungrateful. And despise are those are even uh, those that are good, man. Paraphrase. These are characteristics that people are going to display in the times. We see in that example of that protest. A uh, time to mourn, a time to dance, a time to scatter, a to scatter stones, and a time to gather, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search, a time to give up, a time to keep, and a time to speak. A time of love and a time of hate. A time for war and a time for peace. Hate, war, uh, K-I-L-L, weeping, mourning, and death. That's the times we're in, man. That's the times and seasons we're in. The Lord is sending a spirit of those things on earth, man. You know what I mean? And that being said, this was something short relating to that. Um, hope it helps. Zaya Wolf. You all praise y'all by Shemir Shah by Shemir Kakada. Zaya Wolf. Hope it helps. Ready the information. Shalom.